Some St. Patrick's students are selling their own personal belongings here at school with hope that the money raised will go towards keeping this school open. These kids really do not want this school to shut down. This group of upperclassmen at St. Patrick's is executing a plan to keep the school from shutting down. They're running a store at lunch and recess, selling anything from personal belongings like lotion to food like candy and chips. It was all sixth grader Taria Hughes' idea. One of my friends, John Luke, said the school is closing down, and I saw how many people were sad about it because, you know, Saint they love St. Patrick, so I decided to do something about it. Taria is the manager, Gia Malone is the assistant, Paula Malone is the top saleswoman. For 25 cents, you can get a piece of candy. And Corey Bond hands out receipts. Here are your receipts. Have a nice day. Please come back again. He also serves as bodyguard for whoever carries the money they make for the school. In this case, something hap bad happens or something like that. Well, so far we haven't had no difficulties. These sixth and seventh graders care so much about keeping this school open that they plan to keep this store running through the end of the school year. We're going to give up our recess every day so that we can keep this school open because it's a good place. Because there's no other place better than here to me. Right here. So far, the students think the store has been a big success. We have a lot of buyers. We made so much money. In the few days the store's been open, the kids have made nearly $50. Let the lady go first. They help people in the community see how much they care and in turn make a donation to help save their school. But if we come together and we all use a faith, then we can bring it back and make a sunny new day.